I frequently get questions about how to do backups and restores inside of Photoshop Elements, and I also get questions about what do I do? How do I manage my images? Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you first the way I organize my images, and then I'll show you how you can do this inside of Photoshop Elements and do your backup and restore. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't lose the channel. In the future, it's easy to lose channels on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button then you can always find me and get back to my training. Okay, let's first see how I handle my image organization. And again, I don't use the organizer for this. Instead, I use Adobe's Bridge program, which comes with the Adobe Creative Suite, Photoshop, Lightroom, those things. Let me bring that up. Here we go. This is the Adobe Bridge. Now it works differently than the Photoshop Elements Organizer, but you can do the same kind of things here. The organizer shows you images in its own catalog, and then the catalogs reference back to your folders where you have everything stored. In the Adobe Bridge, you're just looking at your folders. So I organize everything by folders. I know where everything is in here. And if I need to search anything or take a look at anything, I'll just go into one of the folders like this one, take a look at an image like that, and here's my image preview. Here's all my metadata. I've got my keywording in here. All that's available to me. I can change the size of my thumbnail view. All the standard stuff you can do over in the organizer, except that I'm looking at the actual folders where my images are stored. This is just my preferred way of working. Okay, let's go back over to the organizer. There we go. Now, if you're just using Photoshop Elements, the organizer is really all you need. It's very easy to use, and you can see your images and folders inside of the organizer. Right now, I'm looking at the albums over here. But if I switch over to folders, I can then come in here and navigate through my folders and look at my images that way. So I have that same ability. As you can see here by taking a fast look through, these are all things I've done for Photoshop Elements. And that's how I use the organizer here is just to organize just my Photoshop Elements images primarily for my YouTube videos. Now, when you're working with catalogs, one of the most important things to do is to back your catalog up so you have it protected. And there are two ways to handle that. Let's go up here to the File menu. And up here we have the Catalog Manage Backup and Restore section. This is your main way of doing your backups. There also is Copy and Move to Removable Drive. So if you have an external hard drive or a removable drive, maybe you have a DVD that you want to burn things onto or you have a USB stick, this is the easy way to handle that. If you want to do an actual backup system, this is what I recommend. I would start with up here with Backup Catalog. Click on this and you have two basic options. One up here is just to back up the catalog structure. That's the images in here, your keywords, your tags, all of those things, but it does not include the actual pictures. So this is an easy way just to make sure the catalog is backed up and saved. Now the problem with this, of course, is that you don't have those pictures. If you want to be able to have a safety backup in case your computer goes down, your hard drive goes down, or you want to move your catalog to a different computer, that often happens, then what you want to do is come down to this second section right down here, and we have two options here, full backup and incremental backup. Now, these are basically the same thing, but they're two parts of the same thing. You first have to do a full backup. This backs up your catalog. It backs up your keywords, your tags, people, events, all that stuff. Plus, it also backs up all of your images, so everything is saved. And when you're doing backups, you don't want to be doing a full backup every single time. You already have it backed up. That's what the incremental backup is all about down here. This will back up anything that's been changed, new, or modified. So it backs up all of those things. Everything that hasn't been touched, there's no need to re-back up those files. So you'll have two sets of files going on, your full backup and your incremental backups. So always start with a full backup and then do your incremental backups as often as you think you need to. Okay, so full backup, click on Next. Now in here, you can select your destination drive. These are all drives on my system, on my computer. I'll put this over onto my D drive where I have the most space. Down here is the size. You can also browse for a folder right here. And at this point, you can make a new folder if you want to. I'll just do new folder. I'll call this one PSE Backup. And I'll use that. And then click on Save Backup. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this, but I'll cut this little bit short and I'll bring it back in as soon as it finishes that. But I'll tell you how long it takes. Okay, click on Save Backup. Okay, there we go. In my case, that only took two minutes. So very fast for a small catalog. Larger catalogs will, of course, take longer to do that backup. Then it's Choose OK. And my whole catalog has now been backed up, including all of the pictures inside of that catalog. Now if I want to do an incremental backup, same basic thing. File, come down to Backup Catalog. This time I'll choose Incremental, choose Next. It does the same thing, 
simply choose where you want to have this backed up to. You can choose Browse, or you can find your previous backup file right here. And there's a previous backup file. Then I can save that backup, or I can save it to a new location if I wanted to. So pretty easy to do your incremental. And this will simply back up anything which has changed since the last time I did this. Obviously, nothing has changed since we're in the middle of this video, so nothing would happen in here. But that's how easy it is to do the incremental backup. Okay, now let's say you want to restore. Let's go up here to File, come down to Restore Catalog. I'm restoring from my hard drive or other volume. Let's go ahead and we'll browse for that file. And it's right there. Choose Open. There's the backup file. I can then Restore To. At this point, you have the option to restore to a specific location. Just browse to your location, or you can choose to restore the original folder structure. And since I'm restoring, it's okay. The catalog will understand where those are. So if I chose to put this into a different location, that's fine. Photoshop Elements will figure it out and make everything work properly. Click on Browse. I can then find my new location to restore to. Let's say I was coming down here and going back into my backup folder. I go to restore to that location and then click on Restore, it's then going to copy all those files back to that location. I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Choose Restore, and we'll see how long this takes. And there we go, that's been restored successfully. That took about three minutes to do that. Choose OK. It rereads the new location, and there's my catalog restored from the previous backup. So as you can see, doing a backup and then a restore using Photoshop Elements, very easy to do and something which you should be in the habit of doing on a fairly regular basis. Again, I recommend having a local copy, maybe to a secondary hard drive, in case when the hard drive goes bad, you have that secondary copy. That also gives you a copy which you can copy over to a different computer if you want to. And I also recommend doing it to a removable drive. So that gives you an additional level of safety just in case things get messed up. If you want any of this in written directions, this is included in the Photoshop Elements Coach program. If you don't have that, I'll put a link for that in the description. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit like if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, and I'll see you next time.